Hi, this is Lisa Murkowski, Senator for Alaska, and I want to talk to you about the state of my state. Alaska is about one-fifth of our country by land mass. We're twice as big as Texas, with North Carolina thrown in for good measure. If Alaska was overlaid on the lower 48, we'd stretch from California to South Carolina. That's a lot of land. But what you may not know is who controls it. The National Park Service manages about 15 percent. The Bureau of Land Management controls another 20 percent. The Fish and Wildlife Service administers 19 percent. And then the Forest Service controls another 6 percent down in southeast. Then you add 1 percent for the Department of Defense, and now you have the federal government controlling about 61 percent of Alaska's lands. That's more land than Texas and Utah combined. So who controls the rest? Well, the state of Alaska has 27 percent. Alaska Natives have 12 percent. And that leaves just about one quarter of one percent of the state of Alaska as private land, barely even noticeable on a map. And while the state and Alaska Natives do their best to foster economic development, the federal government has taken the opposite approach. All of the non-yellow lands are federal lands that are now off limits to resource production. And even the, fe the yellow federal areas are hardly open to development. All of the dark blue offshore areas have serious development restrictions. Most recently, the Obama administration is trying to permanently restrict development in the red and the orange areas. It's also targeting the area in pink for new limitations. When you add it all up, the federal government is now blocking development on our most resource-rich lands and waters. And that's depriving Alaskans of our ability to produce energy, minerals, timber, and more for the good of our nation. And it's depriving our nation of jobs, revenues, security, and prosperity. That's the state that we're in, in Alaska. And that's why we're asking for greater access to our lands and waters.